You wake in a strange forest. You have no idea how long you've been here, but you must have missed dinner. You're starving. That's really convenient. Hello, is this someone's food? Poke the food of a stick. Nyeh. Somewhat warily, you begin to stuff your face. <laughs> Who's laughing? What's so funny? How's free meal? You realize your mouth is full of leaves. Uh oh, I'm sorry. It was just one of my little jokes. You should have seen your face. Just a spirit who likes to have fun. Sometimes at the other spirit's expense. Hey, you must not be from around here. Wait a minute. You're not a spirit. And that means you can help me with something. Very serious matter. What do you say? Can you help me? <laughs> sure. One. Great. Follow me and we'll get started. I don't know how to do this guy's voice. This is frustrating. Following Timus twists and turns through the wood. Following Timus twists and turns through the wood leave you. Following Timus twists and turns through the wood leave you even more lost than when you started. Why was that so hard? But eventually, arrive at an impressive gate overlooking the banks of a beautiful lantern lit river. I'm sure glad you agreed to this mission with me. Like I said, it's extremely serious and secret. Can I trust you with ex extremely serious secrets? Hmm, I don't know. Didn't even whisper that. You seem bad with super serious secrets. Call me crazy, but I'm going to trust you with a super super secret mission. You ready? We're going to play a prank on fresh. What? You're wondering why I need you for this? Because you're... Uh... Uh... What exactly are you? Where are you from anyway? Uh... I never met anybody from Duh before. This is going to be fun. Well, the important thing is that you're definitely not a spirit. Okay, I think I got the voice. And that means Thresh's magic will work on you. Which means you can sneak into his temple and steal his lantern for me. What? Is Thresh too scary for you? Don't be that way. You do this. I'll be your super serious best friend. And maybe even send you back home. What do you say? This is the dumbest idea I've ever heard. I'm out. Great, I'll wait here, and you go get that lantern. You return with the lantern, and Timo's jaw drops in surprise. Hey, you made it back. And you brought the lantern. Thought for sure we were gone. Nobody steals from Fresh Temple and lives to tell about it. Oh, right. I said he couldn't hurt you. He yeah, I see a lot of things, don't I? Thresh would have ripped you, ripped you limb from limb. You're right. Could have been killed. I'm so sorry. But I think you'll agree this prank was worth putting your life in danger. Now for phase two of our prank. You wait here. Well, I can put this plan in motion. This will just take a couple of spirit minutes. <clears throat> wow, what a prank! Should have seen a look on Fresh's face. Yeah, two spirit minutes. About six months of your time. Give or take, I really don't know how time works, so duh. The important thing is we just pulled a successful prank. And that means there are now super secret 
as friends. And since you're excited about this good, that means you have to say the super secret best pals pledge with me. <laughs> you ready? I think I'm starting to get the voice. Listen, best pal, that was a long time ago. Two minutes, six months, on how it's centuries. Shh! And try those eyes, doesn't matter. The past is the past. I'm full of mistakes and regrets. I've done some things I'm not proud of, and I bet you have to. You can see it in those beautiful lying eyes. Friendship lives in the present. Raise your hand and repeat after me. I, person, in the land of duh, do solemnly swear. Be Chima's best pal through thick and thin. And to help him play the greatest prank ever on the spirit of rejection. To help play a prank on the spirit of election. That guy needs to be taken down a pig. That's right, it's another prank. See your applause, you'll need it. Luckily, we've got two people. A little magic, we could make a pretty convincing demon and scare the bejeebies out of that spirit of reflection. Of course, what else would a super secret best pal do? Now, in order for this demon disguise to work, I need you to steal one more tiny little thing for me. Indrid's shadow cloak. Sure, it's incredibly dangerous, but probably not to you, as you both know I'm an expert on danger. You'll know, get that clock and we'll be on our way. Shadow clock in hand, you return to find Team A waiting expectantly. Hey, super secret best pal, get the shadow clock. He just became. A wise guy, I don't know, this is, he's hard, okay. Uh, great, let's make a demon disguise then, shall we? I've got a magical cloak. Now we need a scary face. What? You've never been, you've never been demon guts before, that's so sad. Think of, the, think of it in this way, the two of us are gonna be stuck pretty close together for a while. There shouldn't be a problem for two best pals, right? <laughs> I like your attitude, best pal. I keep, you keep this up and you might even make super secret senior best pal. Don't worry, we'll definitely send you home after this. What? Of course I will. I said so, didn't I? Now, you stay still, I just need your shoulder. Uh... Wow, you've got a lumpy back. Get that checked out. Didn't move around so much, I'm getting in her shoulders so I can't be the demon head. See? That wasn't so bad. Now we just need to put on the cloak. Stop jostling around. The body, you don't need to see all the, all the seeing. They put on the mask. There we go. Now we hide in the bushes and wait for the spirit of rejection to walk by. How's it going down there, best pal? Go ahead, say something. Nobody's around. Ah, shh. Be quiet. We think he's coming. Ah, <laughs> Okay, yeah, this is not the joke. <clears throat> oh, you should have seen it, best pal. <laughs> wow, I would have mashed a shirt. What a revelation. He completely thought we were a demon. You have to see it to believe it. Of course, a deal's a deal. Let me hand you out of that. Let me help you out of that cloak, and we'll send you home to the lot of duh. On, on. This cloak doesn't seem to want to come off. It's magically stuck to your body. Yep. Can't send you home like this for a whole bunch of reasons. The only way to break the magical grip of that cloak is with spirit sap. You know, from a spirit tree. Wait, you want me to go get it? 
Don't be silly, I can't go on that spirit tree grow. Those trees hate me. But hey, they don't know you. You'll have to get the sap yourself. Oh, right, no vision. Uh, where have I heard that before? It's feeling around over there in that gray growth. Trust me, you'll get sap on your hands. When you're done, just follow the sound of my voice to get back. I'll wait here singing loudly. La 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 la. You hear Timon before you see him. Has he been singing this entire time? La 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 la. Oh good, you're back back. With sap all over your hands. <laughs> Yuck. Here, let me scrape that some of that off. And we'll apply it to that cloak and add a bit of spirit magic and the cloak is off, you're all back to normal. Well, I guess now that's the part where I'm seeing you home. <laughs> Deal's a deal. <laughs> Goodbye, best pal. Just like that, you find yourself back in the real world and this and still in time for the Spirit Blossom Festival. Wait a minute. Demo! D. Gotcha. Should have seen your face. <laughs> you really thought you were home, but it was just an illusion. That's right, I pranked you. Just when you thought you were going home. Oh, come on, you can't be surprised. I guess I... I don't want you to leave. It's so long in the spirit world where everything lasts forever. Maybe I don't know what to, how to say goodbye to the things that don't. I'm sorry. Here, this map will show you the way back to Dunn. I'll be super secret and see your press bell. <laughs> really? So, you wanna stay best pals? Rem? Great. Both want to keep being best pals. So by the laws of spirit realms, that makes us forever pals. It means we share the bond of friendship for all eternity. It also means I can pass freely between our worlds to visit you. I'll be able to pop in and surprise you at your home in the realm of duh. Anytime I want. Even while you're sleeping. <laughs> Gosh, I'm so sorry to hear you say that. But I can see your point. I should have said super secret senior best friend forever pals. You know what? Now I can't wait for you to leave. Because the sooner you get back home, the sooner I can come visit. I'm sure glad I met you forever, pal. Wow, that was so hard. Oh my god, I was all over the place. 